please don't pay too much attention to my hair. I'm going to wash it. So, my wrists are hurting a bit today without me even using them. So, I decided not to write my story. Though, now I feel like I've been using that as an excuse. It is true that I don't need to try to overwork my wrists when they already hurt. But, so it's a good excuse. But it's still an excuse to not write the story because I've been freaking out over every problem that I think it might have. Wanting to really focus on every problem, whether it is or isn't one. And overanalyze it and try to fix it one at a time. To the point where I'm more freaking out than actually fixing things. So I think that's part of what the Mary Sue test was in the first place. Though it is getting me some tips and I did do a little bit of character development. Read an article on Myth France, another great site yesterday to address Spring Hole. Today it's Myth France, the really similar site. Myth France is basically the bigger Spring Hole but it doesn't have the random generators. They're both great though. I, I checked both of those out because they're just awesome. Um, last vlog had a link to Spring Hole in the description. This one I'm gonna put a link to Myth Grants, so. Anyway, I was reading an article about making your characters deeper and just going over some of those it's tips with some of my characters and started these. Or have a file for each one, just really analyzing them. The best way to develop your characters is to write with them, not fill out endless files. But the files does help you to get the base in your head that you can fall back on. I tend to, when I take an underdeveloped character and I write this big drawn out file and every detail I can think of and use that so I know it's kind of like my safety net. I can always go back to that when I need to, and then never need to. But it was there, and I thought about it, and I have it if I ever needed it, so that kind of helped. But and then sometimes I like, come back much later and realize I even left one thing out because it ended up not being part of the character. Because you can't just decide, oh, I think you're gonna be an optimist all the time, and then you start writing as them, and you realize they're only an optimist half the time. I mean. People aren't so quite easily defined, you know. But it is something good to do because these aren't the most developed of all my characters, and it is good to develop them before going on too much with the story. But it has been a bit of an excuse, and it, I have been going a little overboard with it here lately. But uh, so I wrote um, 135. In one of those files, and about one of them, I need to do a file for all the others. Wrote 46 words on two poems on Twitter. I'm proud of one of them, I really liked it earlier today. A 113 word run of blog was on a blog post that is the plan for this month, that's going to be up for the rest of this month. I'll put a link to it in the description as well. And 119 words on a journal on DeviantArt about how ridiculous I can be. Okay, what about what I've been talking about already? It's pretty short though. 119 words, right? So my total for the day is 413. I was really wanting to just write a lot my story and have really high word counts but first I need to actually get myself back into writing stories instead of freaking out over stories I mean I'm not really focused on stories since back in like February so I took a break from that one and it's been all poetry and song and finally I'm back to story and I'm it feels 
Like, it should be an important story. It'd be my first actual story put up on DeviantArt. The first one for these characters. And I feel like I can just fail my characters if I don't do this right. But it's not like anyone's gonna really read the first one anyways. And I want to make sure I get it right. But I should just calm down. I'm trying to, but you can't just tell yourself to calm down and all your nerves go, okay. It doesn't work like that. But I just gotta keep telling myself that it'll be okay. Um, if no one reads it, if anyone does read it and it's bad, you'll just work through whatever problems you face. Just like you have with your other story. It's okay. Not believe how many times I have to tell myself that, or I have, or someone else has to tell me that. But it's okay. So, for the day, I'm gonna go wash my hair. I don't know if I'll wear anything for the rest of the day. Um, if I do, I guess I'll put it up in annotations somewhere there. This is Peace, Love, Pink, signing out.